Hello there. I know this doesn't look like all that much, it just looks like a, a brown box, but it's what World of Wizardry have billed as their best ever fast box. World of Wizardry is a UK-based subscription. It has Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts type items in there. It's, um, I think got various wearable type options as well. So very popular with that fan base. I've never picked it up before. I picked up this best ever box because it was on a, a good a good deal. I can tell you there is a lot of weight to this, quite heavy to hold. It did come in a an outer wrap, which I've taken off, taken the tape off so we can look straight inside. So let's find out what this has got to offer. And I think straight away you can probably see as well as I can the Harry Potter connection there. But we've got lots of things. We've got a t-shirt to start things off. Uh, black. What else do we see? We see the world. And uh, we see the cart going over the top. So it's quite nice. I mean, I'm probably not the most knowledgeable person on all things Potter, like many of you watching this will be, but that's quite a nice design. I guess a bit um, reminiscent of E.T. as well, as we've got it there. Uh, let's let's see what next. There's such a lot in here, it's hard to know where to start. Let's... Um, Let's look at a Geek Gear license exclusive. It's always good as a license. I'd rather be at Hogwarts. So, a decent keyring there as I go. Good to have an exclusive. It's, it's rubber. Um, made by Pyramid under license. Not too much to add, but pretty nice. And next, we've got a black piece of paper, which I'm going to guess is either a scroll or a poster. Let me just take this uh, sort of loop here off, which is holding it all nicely closed. Feels decent quality paper, artwork by somebody for Geek Gear, Geek Craft Stuff. And, well, it's going to be near impossible, I imagine, to unroll, but let me try and hook it under the side of the box. All these ones put right of focus. And a uh, decent, decent picture, I think this is probably Fantastic Beasts there. But, nice collection there, so. Take a look at that post, I'll get a better picture for GeekSubscriptionBox.com. Nothing on the back apart from who is by. Uh, where to next? Let's go for these, look like cookie cutters or cake cutters. Um, you may be able to tell exactly what they are. Let's try and get that with a different colour background. They're certainly beasts of some kind by the look of it. I would probably need a bit more to go on, maybe a bat there. Some kind of possibly a frog or toad there. And... Um, oh, that one looks like possibly a wizard hat, so it's a slightly easier one, you probably can't see those very well. So let's move on to something easier, which is going to be a tie. So here we have a school tie. Do you know, it's not that different to the school tie I remember wearing when I was at school. Now, this presumably is one of the houses there. Um, I can't remember which one is which, just by looking at the school tie colours, but... But there you have it, there, school ties. A bus ticket, this one looks interesting. Bus ticket, one passenger, a single journey to all destinations. There, so I'm not sure quite, it's quite light, quite what is going to be inside this one. I'm quite impressed by this so far. It's again, challenging things to open. What have we got? We have got somebody with long, long hair. So there you go. It looks familiar. There and dreads. So interesting little um, little item. There, it's a bus driver. Uh, and next, a snowy owl. Well, this one is something that probably is easier to recognise because it gives you a clue on the box. And I certainly remember no shortage of owls in everything Potter and uh, yeah and there we have very much a snowy owl so it's just a little collectible nice enough and next this looks like it could be a wand of some kind very neatly packaged up and you can see where the where it's sealed possibly because it's not sealed and because it's just completely done up at the top, right, I am not, oh, no, that may be a bit of an opening there, pop a few bubbles in the process, 
and well, I'll show the, the tip of a wand. And um, there we have it. Quite interesting, nice items. A lot in here, isn't there? What should we go for next? A uh, enamel pin. Not the most exciting thing in the world. What does potions master? Again, no. Yeah, very much fits in with the theme. A little pin. And we've got another pin here as well. We've got a a Christmas owl, which I can imagine came from a Christmas box. But again, yeah, nice. As pins go, made a bit of effort there with a wizardry box. Something long and thin, Geek Gear Wizardry. Now I have a feeling this may even be, uh, be a wand. Let's have a... Let's have a look. These are quite exciting, very nicely wrapped up in in paper and, and wrapped up in more paper. And we have a very impressive one. We've got the, uh, the the lettering there. Let me just zoom out so you can probably make that make out all of that. So really nice wand. I know these are things that. Uh, often appear in these boxes, very collectible, so so really nice there. And still more, we have some, I won't open this one, butterscotch soap. Kicking a wizardry box, yeah, it looks very nice, I will, oh, nice, nice sweet smell, you can instantly smell a bit of butterscotch. Always, always handy. Um, the big item next, a, a potted travel mug. I, I mean, these mugs are incredibly useful now. Especially where you go and buy coffee in the UK, then you often pay more if you don't bring your own mug. Or, or at least you get a discount if you do. So it feels like ripped straight into it, which is unusual for me, but it does look quite nice. Uh, sort of porcelain feel to it there. And yeah, lid there, very much Harry Potter and official pyramid item. So nice mug. And um, I think this is last but not least, we have official contestant of the Triwizard Tournament there. So another license exclusive. It's a, I guess it's a print. Really not too much more to say than that. A lot of people love that frame. So, uh, so incredible value here. I've got a bit of detective work to do to just tell you more about these items for the GeekSubscriptionBox.com, but it's quite hard to run through them because my my blanket is is so covered. But we got the the t-shirt, the mug, the tie, uh, the little wand, we've got the owl, the soap, uh, the big wand, the little print, two pins. The, the dangling dreads person, the cookie cutters, and the keyring. I think that's as much as I've ever had in a geek box, particularly at the under £20 price point that this one came in at. So, thank you for a really interesting wizardry box. Full review will be up at geeksubscriptionbox.com and certainly look forward to bringing you many more interesting geek box unboxings in the future. Thanks for watching.